what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? The son of Lisa Presley and the grandson of Elvis Presley, Benjamin Keel, was found dead. Authorities say an apparent victim of a self-inflicted gun wound. Dead at 27 years old at his home in Calabasas, California. Now, why am I talking about Elvis Presley's grandson. Well, let me get this out of the way. I don't care much about Elvis Presley at all. However, Lisa Presley seemed like, like a nice person, seemed like an all right person. After all, she was married to Michael Jackson and Mike is my dude. You did? Now, the grandson who died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound, a parent self-inflicted gunshot wound. It caught my attention because once again, we have a celebrity, a person who appears to have it all. Got the money, the nice home, the cars. The dude was living in Calabasas, okay? Now, it didn't say who owned the house, but it doesn't matter. They're heirs to the granddaddy's fortune, to Elvis's fortune. So mama papered up. So she loved her son like crazy. Her, her son and she had three other kids, three daughters, two twins. I said two twins, but she had twins and another daughter. So she loved uh, she doted over those kids. You know, all the reports that you see where she's talking about them, anytime she's in a video, she's all over them. So love the kids like crazy. So you wonder like with all of that love, what went wrong? You know, with all of that money, access, power, with all those options, what went wrong? And they're not saying right now exactly what drove him to the edge, like what made him actually like jump off the cliff. All they know is that he's dead. Well, all, all they're sharing is that he's a victim of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. We see this often. People with, it seem like they got the whole world in the palm of their hands and they kill themselves. You hear me talk about money not being able to buy happiness. And I'll say money ain't everything. I say it a lot. I'm speaking from experience because when I had the most money in my younger days, I was the most like conflicted, you know? I wasn't at peace with myself. You know, it was, I was fighting a lot of demons because I couldn't really like put things in perspective, you know, what was going on with this newfound uh, success and how people, especially the people that was in my life prior to the success got brand new, you know? A lot of times you hear people say, well, you're going to get brand new. You're going to change. Don't change. No, no, no. Oftentimes, when you come into money, you come into newfound success, it is the people around you who changes first. So I experienced a lot of that. And so trust was a major issue. And that is a major issue oftentimes, I can tell you, in regards to people who go that far, who take it that far. A lot of people think about suicide, but very few people actually go through if you compare the amount of people who consider suicide versus the ones who actually go through it. 
Life is hard, man. It ain't the easiest thing. But one thing that people have to remember is that no matter how tough it may seem, whatever you're going through, I don't care what it is. Because all of us think that whatever we're going through is the is the hardest thing in the world. Like nobody understands my pain but me. Nobody gets it. And people can tell you, I love you, I love you, you know, we, we care about you. And and you just, in your mind, you're like, nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares. We all go through this, right? But what we have to understand is that if you can hear my voice right now, no matter what you've gone through in the past, you've survived 100% of the time. You're batting a perfect score right now. In baseball, they call it 1,000. The number, the perfect score is 1,000. That means that every time you stepped up to the bat, you know, up to the plate, you got on base. That's a perfect score, 1,000. That's what you're batting right now. Every single issue you've ever faced in your life, you thought you couldn't get through, whether it was a, a, a heartbreak, whether it was a loss of a job, loss of a loved one, betrayal, you got through it. And that's the way it is. This guy was 27 years old. Man, I, when I think about what, where I was at 27, I was a grown man, but I was still learning. I was nowhere near where I am today or even where I was when I was in my 30s. 27, that's when you're just, as a man, you're just coming into yourself. You're just, you're just getting there to really figure it out. You're starting. That's, when you, that's really about around the time where you make your turn at for men. We make our turn typically around late 20s, and he's right there on the cusp making that turn and bam if we are to believe the reports that he did commit suicide man what a waste looking back at this kid he does look a lot like Elvis R.I.P. Benjamin Keogh no more talk what the haters talking about